sustain for a frontliner. Not gonna lie, I forgot that hero existed. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while, but welcome back, buddy. Welcome back into the land of dawn. But there it is. Any final thoughts you wanna say before we head over to the casters? The draft here is pretty skibbity. Pretty skibbity. And it's pretty skibbity that we are at match point, ladies and gentlemen. If Smart Omega can pick up this next game, they will be moving forward to meet Vitality in... Strex and Naisu here for the third game of this best of five. How we feel in Naisu could be the last game in this series. Can yep. VSG pull it together Welcome and take to one down? Legends. Oh, man. You know, I think going off the last two games... They have to do so much different here in, in Game 3. Even with the lineup that they have, I think if you look at the previous two games where their their weak points were was the early game, they need to somehow get the momentum in their favor early on, especially when you're going against this kind of lineup. Look at this already, Gailey. She's been Ooh. through this so often. She is going to survive, though. But that's what I'm wondering, because you're going against a Ling, and anytime, obviously, that Ling is going to be there, you want to be able to also transition to choking out the resources to taking these purple buffs. So for VSG, part of the game plan is that, but how do they do that? They need to get the snowball going in their favor, and this is good. I mean, at least KOA does have the jungle Roger, which has been shown to actually do pretty well against other assassins in the jungle. Yeah, definitely can do well, and... I mean, time and time again, VSG has had some answers to Smart Omega Empress's draft. And at this point, I can say, yeah, the uh, the Lunox can brilliance away from the Tempest of Blades, can be in some safe positions. A lot of the heroes have some answers. But what it's really going to come down to, as it has come down to in the past two games, is Victory Song Gamers just needs to step it up a notch, right? They need to put their foot on the gas. And it looks like it could be what they're trying to do here. Let's see if they can pull something off. Not Ayanami. Again, I like that the experts mentioned this. You know, you don't see the Barrett's too often anymore. Uh, for the longest time, it was just a mainstay in the jungle. But now it's, you know, if it pops up in the sideline, especially the XP lane, it might work out. But still, part of that too is just that CC immunity is actually going to be able to help them with the lineup that they're up against from VSG. Two purifies as well. Now in the mid lane, though, this is already the focus. The crash course, Temps of Blades to follow up. Gaily in trouble again. It's first blood for Kashi, and they'll go ahead and take that as a sign to go start this turtle up. Yeah, I don't know if it was the coach's decision. I don't know if Smart Mega Empress, but I just feel like before they came out onto the stage today, the plan was we target Gaily. Yeah, we I make her I think so, public man. enemy number one, and we get as many kills as we can on her as many times as possible within the first few minutes because every time Gailey's just been getting picked on, picked on. Oh. Murray though. Murray's gonna be picked on this time as QA picks up the kill. And so the good answer, good response here. Is it enough to start also? Ooh. Chanel could be in trouble. The flick of four from Rhea at all. Oh, one hit won't be enough. Able to get away with her life there, Chanel, with that little bit of shield also. She popped the Purify. Neither team able to get the Turtle in all this chaos. All right, we're three minutes in. Turtle hasn't been taken yet. It's a rare sight right now. Both gold laners forced to go back. But we're starting to see VSG maybe push the envelope here, and that might be the only option. you got to just start flipping the coin a bit on these fights. A lot of the meta right now is who can catch the aggressive side first, who can get that big gold lead in. VSG knows that Smart Omega is going to try to do that continuously. And I think VSG has now just acknowledged the fact that we can't just play for late game, right? We're not going to make it to late game. Up at the top side, though. Oh, but the late game here. It could be harder to get to if that happens. Rian goes down, but this might be a trade. QA will be able to get the turtle, and now they're going to find it out. Shortcut was dropped in, too. They have to win this fight. Murray in trouble. She's one Ooh. hit away, but they're going to get crashed down. Daytona's welcome finds Gailey. Minun falls, and they go back in. They re-engage. Two fall for VSG. Good usage of the shortcut there. And Smart Omega Empress makes a play up top, and they swing back down to pick up a kill near the turtle. That's why the chip is still banned out right there, because for a second, VSG almost made it an equal trade. They traded a gold laner for a turtle, which in my mind is not equal. If they would have got the kill on the mirror there or anything else, it would have swung in their favor, but everyone shows up, and then it just Swank. turns into a, a big <laughs> punch in cluster. the face. <laughs> I was going to say a cluster at this point, because, I mean, think about it, Trex. 
How how does that feel? You see the Ling is up top. You already know Ling can go ahead and make uh, you know transfers like across good. the map. I'm safe. Yeah, but then I'm okay. A shortcut comes in. And you got you know? this hero that can just teleport people. Pull up. They pulled up. They literally did. They pulled up right now. Wild charge going to be used, of course, from Gailey. Trying to make a play here on the top side. Rest of the team also making their way up. Not sure if they still follow through. They get the brilliance out. The damage from Omore, though, has to be respected as well. Neither team able to pick up a kill. All right, VSG. It's time to sing the song. It's time to do something here, because we're already 3,000 gold behind. Oh. oh, goes in. Flicker, Daytona's welcome into the wall. Synchro just gets picked off like that. It was supposed to be Gaily. She gets out with her life, but Synchro doesn't. Smart Omega Empress once again with the decisive plays here really following up. I mean, think about it. Not Ayanami rotated all the way up there in the mid lane. She's already got the Thunderbelt. Already got the Thunderbelt. Gonna start getting some stacks in, but wait oh. a second. A little bit of engage on to not Ayami. While charge gonna be used. They have the damage available. Keshi there on the backside jumps oh. in. Minon has to get back to the turret. Tempest of Blade's gonna be used as well. They fight under the turret. Keshi will go down as Rian picks up the kill. In return, they're looking for more. Murray could be in trouble. Guardian's Bear gonna be used. There's the brilliance, but they couldn't pick up Murray just yet. They'll be happy with the one kill for now. Shinoa waits in the bush. On this Harith, pops the Zaman Force, bobs and weaves with the Synchro Vision, keeps him off the turtle here. They can't take it on just yet. The rest of Smart Omega Empress will join up. So still, the objective for the taking. Okay, but that's honestly, whether it's chaotic or not at this point, that's the 50-50 that VSG has to go for. Those are the coin flips they have to take at this point. It's match point. They already know they're not going to win through the safe game. They need to see if they can push Smart Omega Empresses to the overheating point. See if they can force them to make some mistakes. Rion seems to be comfortable finally. Seems to be online. Kiyoe has a kill in the book as Ooh. well. And with Keshi down a kill? It's, you know, there's some opportunity for Victory Sun Gamers to maybe secure some objectives here. So they're going to go ahead and try it. Purple buff still being worked on, so they just give a huge go Work on up. this, and Kiyoe will be able to get it. And now they're going to join the fight. Amore holding on to the wild charge. Shortcut already dropped under the Zaman Force again. Tempest of Blade's going to be used as well. She tries to get away, but Gaily going to be one to fall. And in the exchange, only one down. Minun, though, going to be possibly the next target. Here comes Kachi. Here comes the squad and they pick up a second kill. Squad pulls up like Skirt. Skirt, Skirt. Skirt, Skirt, That's two turtles. I mean, Victory Song Gamers are staying in this a little bit, right? You get the two turtles. Imagine if they didn't get those two turtles. This uh, 3K gold lead would be four, maybe even five. Yeah, actually, It would yeah. be really escaping from them. So Victory Song Gamers are finding something in the chaos. I think this is a little better than previous games, but it's still, it could get bad fast. If any of these one or two man wipes turn into a four or five man, it could just be a wrap. We saw earlier in the items that Keshi had the Berserker's Fury on. That damage is, is just going to start getting bigger and bigger once another item locks in. <laughs> Already has another item locks in. Haas Claws for a little bit of sustainability. And then next, what is that? Endless Battle is going to come in next. Um, just for good measure, and at that point, it's going to get bad. And in the beginning, Kiyoe kind of had the lead, but now we're falling behind almost 1,400 gold. Kiyoe does go for the War Axe, which I like this build format. Um, it's a little more sustainable. It's maybe not as quick moving, but she picks up the Quantum Charge Emblem Ooh. to make up for that. Tona's welcome to you. Look at this. Kiyoe's going to be the target. Can't get away, even with a little bit more durability as she falls there. Now the eyes set here on this bottom side. This tier two turret, Smart Omega Empress, make a play. And you know, we sleep on the Barrett's pick right now with the current meta, but it's still good. Now on the top side, Murray gonna jump in with the track crash course. Wild Charge is there, but here's Keshi plus the whole team. They find a kill on Rian, and then Gailey's gonna be next. Keshi tries to jump in, and she will pick up the kill and clean things up. I thought Jushin was a broken hero, but Chip just reminds me of why he needs to stay on that ban list in the right <laughs> hands. He reminds me of why it's just insane. And sometimes you would think that well, sometimes Chip with an assassin like Ling might not be the best because it's hard to capitalize off of it. No. Ling just pops out, pops out of that portal with the Tempest of Blades ready to go. Yeah. Rion's instantly deleted. Kiyoe got, I mean, it's it just makes it even harder for VSG to keep up with them. The pacing was already fast enough from Smart Omega Empress. Now, now they're just breaking the, 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 the breaking speedometer. The yeah, at that point, 
you know, you, you break the speedometer because you're time traveling. You're going through a portal. You know, I'm sure you've seen Portal. <laughs> you portal, yeah. How it works. I was always bad at it. You just show up, and that's hard to play against. And even with that said, Trex, like, tre uh, like teams still have to find ways to make the chip work. It's not as easy as just dropping the shortcut. I mean, you know, yeah. it is very strong, but we have seen teams not make chip work. Uh, but more often than not, he's actually still just a very strong pickup that brings a ton of utility to the team. And that's what they're going to have to deal with. Holy Crystal locked in before this base siege from Shinoa. Lord working on this bottom turret. Shield's already going to be popped here. Still might press the situation. Zaman Force already goes down as well. Turret's holding up. Tempest of Blade's going to be fo followed through. Rien's going to fall Dex. Three down for VSG. Triple for Shinoa. She's on fire. Can they end the game here? Synchro, the next. Going back to our casters. The game is ending. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Smart Omega Empress does it. They definitely do. Today, the plug was pulled on the song of victory. And you know what they're saying? What are you they know, saying? You know what I'm From Smart Omega Empress. So I don't know how that is really going to work out for VSG. We're going to look at some highlights here. And looking at how the entire game has been has been going, it's really all about pickoffs coming in from Smart Omega Empress, where Honestly, I will show a little bit later when the casters were talking about how looks like their game plan is shutting down Gaily. And honestly, I'm going to show that a little bit later. But yeah, this is the game plan coming in for Smart Mega Empress that I feel like uh, Team Vitaly should be looking out for. Can I Either comment on that off. real quick, though? Sure, go ahead. So I had a chance to interview Gail earlier on, right? Mm -hmm. And then she mentioned that this was kind of a revenge match for her. Yeah. Because previously she was in Onyx Zoal. And it was Smart Omega Empress that knocked her out at MWI last year. So maybe that that you know that touch into revenge for Omega Empress is like, okay, you want revenge? Okay, we'll take you up before you even get it. Yeah, because let me just say they know where she is, no matter what time it is in the game, <laughs> and and that's the reason why they.